but uh, let's go ahead and do our uh, kind of rambles for this week. So, uh, no fucking surprise here. Um, <laughs> it was election week, and I think that was a big part in why we just don't have much to talk about this week. Uh, yeah. it, w- it was just kind of still at the forefront of everything, <laughs> and in a lot of people's minds, it was in our minds. Of course, the war within was in my mind, so... Uh, <laughs> at some, the other... Uh, yeah, well, the one, other... once kind of halfway through Wednesday got past me, I was just like, fuck it, I, I'm, I'm yeah. hyped. So, um, so we, we both basically want to make a statement here and then move on, because that's what this really should be about. Um, it, th- you have the election, the candidate is elected, and then we move forward. And what's important there is the we. And I think a lot of that is lost. Um, and I think a lot of people are kind of in their circles. They're mm-hmm. in their echo chamber where they're hearing what they hear. They, they're hearing what they want to hear. Mm-hmm. And we have to understand that... Uh, so I, I don't want to get too much into my statement, but basically I just want you to can say keep going that ahead if you want, like just go on your, on your tangent and then I'll say mine afterwards. So, well, I, I have my statement. I, and I just want to say that like, like this channel, if you have an opinion that is like ours or contradictory <clears throat> to ours and you present it in a reasonable adult manner, we welcome you. You know, it, it's, it's this, uh, kind of extremism that mm-hmm. we have come to fear from others in the world or others at home and that the media is even pointing out to us that is making things worse. And and the media is definitely realizing that there is a problem within themselves, that they underrepresented yes. things, the polls underrepresented things, and that... Uh, I've read many articles that claimed as such that they're like, we've... We fucked up. <laughs> and, and that's good. It, that's good to recognize that. And we also need to recognize that the vote was very split. And also the Electoral College is there for a reason. And I will get into that uh, when it comes to my side of things. But I, w- I want you to kick things off. I really do. So, Mark, why, why don't you give your um, opinion on, on uh, what's going on and uh, how you feel? Yeah, it was... Uh... A little bizarre, <laughs> um, you know, given, you know, previous elections, I'd never really found myself being emotionally involved or being all that in tune with what was happening. Um, and I, I've been reading a lot and I, uh, think I've described, I've, uh, mentioned before on previous videos, I read the Washington post a lot and subscribe I'm to them. I'm going to put and my lipstick on now. Nice. Very nice. And, you know, there were ones that were, you know, calling the elections like, oh, Clinton's got this and, you know, the polls. <laughs> now the tree is getting chapstick. <laughs> um, so, you know, to say that I was shocked, I also want to say that I it, it was not out of ignorance. It was just out of uh, misleading um, from the media. Oh, OK. Um, I thought I thought you were going to say like for me. So like <laughs> you even commented on this and we're going to interrupt each other. Mm-hmm. It's our, our nature of things. Um for for me, you even said to me the night of, you were just like, you're kind of, you know, acting unexpectedly. Right. Um, so you, were, you just seemed like so so calm and positive, and I was like freaking out. I was like, what? <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't have called it positive. I mean, I – so stress affects my pain level. I was in a lot of pain. I expressed that mm-hmm. to you. Um, and either way, I was stressed over it. Um, and – <clears throat> Honestly, I'm a person who accepts a lot of possibilities, and I accepted sure. that uh, even if the polls were kind of off, they were close for a reason. You mm-hmm. know, they were within 10 to 5 points most of the time, and that is very close, which means there was a great possibility of Trump being the president. Mm-hmm. Um, and that still sounds weird when it comes out of my <laughs> mouth uh, because um, I think. A lot of things that people voted for him on, neglecting some of the negatives that made a Mm -hmm. lot of people kind of lean more more towards Clinton, Um, I think uh, are – so there are like these categories that people want, non-politician, potential businessman, uh, outside thinking, um, 
talks about the working class, you know, uh, because there has been a lot of, well, you know, basically for the past eight years, we've had a lot of focus on liberal kind of non-working class uh, and, uh, you know, especially within the media, this kind of focus on elites. Uh, like you, you look at these shows like Shark Tank and mm-hmm. um, their, their iterations on Shark Tank. It's just like those in entertainment and media represent uh the, you know, the liberal side yeah and, and it kind like of does. entrepreneurs and, like, oh, and people yeah. who just don't you know like put on uh their clothes and go to work and work a hard job like my mm-hmm. dad uh and you know just come home and th- that <laughs> is what they want um and well, even, so, yeah, you know, please, the, please continue. The, you know the campaigns you know is uh clinton's was riddled with uh uh, celebrity endorsements, you know, and it's just like that. That is the the liberal left, but that's not that's not the people, you know. That's a certain percentage, and um, but and, I digress. Um, I actually had I, Wednesday. I had a hard time uh, grasping this this notion of President Trump because, you know, of his rhetoric and uh, you know what had been read, and it was, it was a shock to my system. And it wasn't until you know I, I actually talked to a Trump supporter about it. And I was just like, here's my thoughts. You know, I was, I was afraid for, uh, friends that are Muslim, friends that are gay women, uh, you know, afraid that their rights would not, would be taken away in one way or another. And then, you know, I, I think I've mentioned before, um, I've been really into, you know, Zen readings and stuff like that as of lately, actually over the past couple of months. Um, I've said before on the channel, if you haven't seen this yet, but that's a fact about me. Um, and the idea that, we don't have control over this. Like this no one, is... yeah, no one person has control. Yeah, and exactly. Like that, just like that, to... That's something within my thoughts that like this expect. So your vote fucking matters. Like yeah, and and, and that's one that's one thing that like uh, this election should really fucking prove to people because it was I think Massachusetts or New Hampshire where it was down to literally a, a different. Been... Yeah, within 15 votes. So, like... Uh, and that, that, that at some point it was, I think it ended up being, like, uh, 100 or a couple hundred now. But still, like, when you're looking at the population of millions, like, a exactly. couple hundred votes Be, is a Being lot. within a, a, a difference of 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, mm-hmm. 20,000, that is incredibly close. And that is right. why your vote does matter. Being a part of this majority voice does matter. And I think they're could have been some complacency within those who are either of a more liberal mentality, did not want Trump, or supported Clinton. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that that was on both sides of this. And this idea of your vote didn't matter, like, uh, it's good that people are exercising their right to free speech in mostly peaceful ways. And I really want to emphasize that because, again, the media uh, does emphasize mm-hmm. a lot more of the shock and, and awe which is bad most I'd like of the to time comment on that as well too if you if you're done unpacking i i, um, I I'll, I'll go ahead and uh complete my point there before okay. i uh let you into it uh this kind of idea that like the presidency is the people's voice is wrong uh, mm-hmm. That that it, I think really comes from this lack of knowledge about where the power lies in our system, and uh, this isn't an accurate percentage. Um, this is really m- my mind's representation. However, the representative branch, the House and the Senate, is where the people's power actually lies more mm-hmm. than the presidency. It's, and again, here's here's my rough representation. Don't take it. There, there's no real percentage to this. But I would say this is decently close. Uh, so you have the representative b- branch. This is 40% of the power within our nation. And then you have the presidency, which is 30% of the power, roughly. And then the judiciary, which is 30% of the power. So and and I think this is why also that our democracy, our presidency works a lot more than you see other quote unquote mm-hmm. presidencies working where like Egypt, they overthrew their <laughs> president because or it wasn't Russia. working it's or president Putin. <laughs> Russia, where, yeah, uh, he's kind of just been president forever at this point right. or the last 10 years uh, or more. Um, and really sure. it wor- it works because there are these rotations because it's a rotating cycle and it's effective mm-hmm. because uh, in two years, if Trump is ineffective, whether it is uh, from a 
part bipartisan perspective, a liberal perspective, or a conservative perspective in two years, we get to put him in check. We also get to put the House and the Senate in check. Mm -hmm. And that's important because I do think the every two-year cycle uh, is misrepresented by the media, through the public eye, and just kind of in general. Um, So please, uh, go ahead. Two points to make. Um, one, uh, going back to, you know, kind of getting over this idea of, you know, the fears that I had, you know, fears for my friends and whatever. Um, actually, I lost sleep over Wednesday morning. I woke up at like six o'clock. I'm like, fuck, I can't sleep. This is insane. <laughs> um, I, took a, I, I took a good amount of melatonin. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, but, you know, come Thursday, you know, I, I felt like I was kind of over it. And, you know, I came to my senses and realized I have no control over this. And uh, when I was talking to a Trump supporter, um, no, 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 that 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 that's the wrong have, that's the wrong thing over, to say. I don't yeah. have I don't have power over what's everything already happened. Exactly, it's happened. Accept it. And you can um, you can like it's on each person to actually get out there and if you know like this is that dissatisfying to you or his first right. year or his first year and a half is that dissatisfying well, to you that's when form we a movement. vote again yeah exactly you know? or form a movement get people right. aware you know so mm-hmm. g- yeah please um shit mark sucks with words <laughs> at times so okay, i will that. often um, i will often improve his word usage yeah the uh um when I was talking to the Trump supporter about this and he was like, well, Trump's a businessman. And once I kind of let that soak in, you know, it's like he sells real estate. So he slings bullshit for a living. Basically, he's like, also an actor. Right. And and, and I don't a, and I don't want to believe that all of that was an act because that was a whole year of acting. You know, I don't and, believe it was all an act, but I, I do believe either. he was pushing out certain rhetoric to gather votes like that is such a business thing to do like you're trying to sell something you're trying to sell yourself ha- you'll say whatever you want whatever you and, can and, to try to muster someone to get on your side to get to a level that you want to get to and we can't neglect because of these thoughts a lot of the bullshit a lot of the awful things that were said oh yeah he's yeah, not be neglected of, I mean, and he he should come out uh, I'll, so i'll get to these mm-hmm. points on my Go. Yeah, and it's I actually from what I've been reading, it's kind of coming out a little bit slowly. You know, um, I was actually watching something on CNN, Paul Ryan saying like there is no plan for a mass deportation. Period. I mean, mm-hmm. so you know, stuff like oh, that. Oh, the, Repub- the Republican, the Republican, he'd have to get past the House and the sure. Senate, and he doesn't have the power to do that on right. such a thing. Um, I think one last thing I'm probably getting a little flack on this. Um, you know, mentioned about like I- protesting. Uh, again, and, we're entitled to right. opinions. We just have to be reasonable and hear each other on this shit. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, talking about the protesting and a lot of these protests, it's it's in regards to, um, you know, equality and rights and, you know, their peaceful protests. And what here's an issue that was brought to light to me was that if you're going to stir the pot, you're disrupting the peace. If you want to, you know, if, if you're trying to say this is wrong because equality like you're going to stir up emotions on both sides and that's inevitably going to cause more issues i feel like if you want to actually be peaceful be at peace like you have conversation but don't start pointing fingers and assuming things because inevitably we don't know what's going to happen with president trump at all it could be absolutely nothing what his rhetoric was implying during the election so it's like I, I feel like some of these protests, yes, I get it. You have a voice. You have you're concerned. But I also feel like you're not making things better at the moment. <laughs> you uh, so should I start my point? Yeah, I think that that okay. that clears my my brain. OK, so. So like people have the right to exercise freedom of speech mm-hmm. and i think that a majority of this probably somewhere up to almost 90 percent of the people who are doing this are probably doing so peacefully yes um and and when we say peaceful obviously this is uh up to either a majority definition or in the you know mind of the beholder where it's just like well what are we defining as peaceful well these people aren't interfering with traffic they're mm-hmm. not really uh you know doing anything to cause a panic obviously these are occurring in some places but again we have to have a broad perspective we can't just look at it from the perspective of uh people in california or just the people in texas it's um 
people have this right and it can be done peacefully and it is mm-hmm. being done peacefully. However, I do agree on this I, this notion of stirring the pot. You're stirring the pot when there's almost nothing in there to be stirred yet. Right. <laughs> um, it, again, I come back to this notion of uh, who these uh, Trump. So so some people are saying, man, he's you know, like, look how smart he was. Look how much he read the tea leaves. I don't think he's actually that <laughs> smart or really read the tea leaves that much. Right. I, I think that he had a notion and he uh, saw some things and got lucky in some places um and executed properly and also there uh were some places where clinton did not execute properly and uh you know just kind of did poorly and didn't get Mm -hmm. lucky um so we have to look at both sides of this coin now one side looks fucking awful um (laughs) where one is a racist a bigot a misogynist and the other side looked like a goddamn president Right, and I and, and I I hate to say that honestly, but like, um, man, he put a presidential face on. He was mm-hmm. with Obama, and and, and that's and, and that's fake. I mean, like a hundred percent honesty. Presidents have to put on faces, and that's fake. And but that's part of the job, and they do so for a public benefit, not to cause chaos. And he did that. Whereas mm-hmm. in on the campaign trail. He had the at oh, times he almost each seemed, other. He almost it seemed to like. be chaotic. Mm-hmm. And both of them sat in the same fucking room and called each other good people. Mm-hmm. And like goddamn. And they said like, they wanted is, to like work things out for a smooth uh, transition of presidency, which you know and, that's and, and god and goddamn is that like important and hopeful. It was hope inspiring and I can't help but reiterate something that Colin Moriarty said on Kind of Funny. And I'm not going to lie. I often disagree with a lot of his thoughts, opinions, and the the facts he chooses to use. But that mm-hmm. doesn't mean that he isn't uh, right at times, too. He said that I'm hopeful for President Trump. Mm-hmm. And we should all be hopeful. We should hope that he is going to be the best goddamn president we've ever had. Absolutely. Which, which would be shocking, but that is a unifying message about being American and hoping for the best for this country mm-hmm. because we do not know what he's going to do. As confident as a person as some of you out there might be, you have to the, the you can't honest the, future. the one true fact that we know as human beings, as people who uh, can rely on uh, really solid mathematics and really solid science, is that there is no goddamn 100% certainty ever, period, the right. end. Um, well, it's and, funny, so it's funny go, you said about Colin, Colin uh, Moriarty because last night Dave Chappelle, uh, his opening monologue to SNL was basically saying the same thing. Like, it's like, we need to hope for the best out of this. Like, we can't just, like, think that the worst is going to happen we want what's good for the country and we want uh to move forward and that's the other side to this where like good good on entertainment for like reeling it back in but it should not have become such an entertainment spectacle to begin with and that's not not. just on that's not just on media's side that is america that is (laughs) that is on the political side and on america for wanting to consume that we have to put ourselves, all of it, the whole fucking thing in check. American mm-hmm. citizens who consume media and the media and the political process of campaigning. It's all got to be put in check. And I mean, reality TV, and honestly, because that's all this was about was just fucking reality TV, but political edition. <laughs> and that, and and that's where I want to end it, because yeah. now we have our results and we move forward and we improve upon them moving forward. We don't yes. wait four years. We wait two years. And if you have elections in your town but between this point and two years from now, you improve on that as well. Mm-hmm. Mayoral campaigns and sheriffs and all of it. Get more involved if you're just satisfied. But yeah. but the, yeah. this idea in politics, if you want to be, you know. But don't listen to the, these uh, extreme opinions. Don't listen to the extremists in comments uh, who are making off the cuff uh, <clears throat> remarks without <laughs> doing this, taking a breath, mm-hmm. absorbing it all, and then actually looking 
at how you improve without just these angry, bitter reactions because the, those do nothing. Yeah. They, they are just angry and negative and we don't have to be positive and you don't have to be all realistic either. But you you have to have somewhere in between mm-hmm. where you're not just being negative and you're not just being positive. You, there has to be realism somewhere, everywhere. So there, Agreed. that's done. Let's move <laughs> forward. That was rambling. Mark. That was yeah. That was that. This but, might actually well, end up getting cut into that different was rambles. Fucking necessary though, man. I mean, it, it, it was. It's on everybody's mind. Let's be real. Well, everybody in this country and. Perhaps another. No, no, no. Around the world. The world yeah. For those who don't know me, my girlfriend lives in Finland. We've been together for two years, and even she's worried. <laughs> um, and and Korea's worry, and Japan yeah. is worried, and fuck, even Russia is worried. And so here's the here's the last part of this. Um, for for those who even are like, oh my god, we're going anymore. <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. Uh, but I think this is uh, this is more of a pertinent fact than, uh, or, or as close to a fact as it can be, um, <laughs> than kind of just like uh, how, trying to help things push forward. Mm-hmm. Um, Hillary Clinton, uh, if, if you want to be realistic about your perspective on Clinton, the one negative she would have brought to the office is... Um, her relations with Russia. When she was Secretary of State, she basically uh, stonewalled Putin, in a way. Um, uh, Wrote open letters about, and I might be misrepresenting some of this somehow, but I have done a lot of reading um, because I have a lot of time on my (laughs) hands. Uh, So, like, I read a lot. uh, And she has incredibly bad relations with Putin. Um, it is widely known, widely pub- publicized, even by uh, publications that many find to be proper sources. Times, Washington Post, Forbes. She has bad relations with Putin, and she would have brought that back to the table. Whereas uh, n- you look at even not having just a liberal candidate or just a democratic side of things now we have a republican side of things uh now we have a different president uh and basically we have the opportunity to potentially heal divides and possibly stop a proxy war stop escalating tensions with a nuclear power (laughs) um we are we're of course a nuclear power too and um like there the point is there's never been a nuclear war between two nuclear powers and there never should be um and i'm not saying that that would have happened with clinton i'm not saying that's not going to happen with trump but i think he stands a better chance to de-escalate and this rhetoric of oh my god he's going to start a war is i think a bit ignorant because he is also not the representative who often talks to most uh nations and most leaders that should be the Secretary of State, much like Clinton or, was. Or ambassadors. Or the Vice President, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> anyway... <laughs>